Goodbye, Sylvia. Yeah. Goodbye, Good Sylvia. luck with your studies. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, so this is Pool C, uh, race 12, I believe. A day late because these uh, animals can't get their cars off the line. <clears throat> hey, these animals aren't that bad because at least we waited for Jay like half an hour before starting the race. <laughs> exactly. Oh my word, look at those absolutely stunning Springbok themed Heath and Proxa liveried uh, Audi TTs. It's a pity about the driver though, but that's okay. We don't speak about chocolate and stuff, right? <laughs> but, uh, oh, who are we looking at for this evening, gents? We're we'll looking at OJ. Definitely OJ and KLM tonight. OJ and um, KLM. Actually, Enion is very hot on this track. He can oh, okay. set very good times. Anyone fire? I, I believe, yeah, he's a very good uh, hot lapper, but uh, in the long run, I'm not sure. But OJ didn't have very good. Or OJ didn't have a lot of practice for this one, so we'll just have to see. Yeah, yeah that's definitely. true. Yeah, true. And Phantoms is here, so uh, we've got a few, few guys. If Phantoms can start this race, I think he's going to finish well. Just hopefully he can stop. I mean, we do have three starts in total, two restarts. So, uh, speaking of which, we'll do a test start now. Hold on before starting the test, please. Wait. <laughs> hey, 130.9, not bad. No, I, I have something to do. Um, wait, Stewie, wait, Stewie. wait. Where's this guy? guy? There we go. Uh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my word. Yes. You can go. Okay, cool. This is only a test start. Hello, Sylvia. Nice to see you too. Uh, good luck for tomorrow. <laughs> She's what a bit late. We tomorrow? already said, like, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> hey, and uh, Sean is here as well, as in Mr. Logistical Nightmare Boss himself. Man. Yeah, boss Mr. Man. Boss Man, our boss, so we, 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 we can't cause too much uh, trouble here. Yeah. I think let's, let's definitely watch one of these uh, Lexi pull off the line here. Yeah. Rather watch the Audi, you're just gonna see a shitload of crashing. Yeah, I'm actually gonna, I'm watching from Pace's point of view, I'm gonna see how the, the Audi absolutely gets munched. Oh, there's yeah. already a jump start by Enion Fire. He's pulled up to the side, I think he's happy with that. <laughs> Ooh, and I get crushed by Maverick, thanks dude. Looks Just like everyone started, dude. Yeah. Now, Inyon has started now, he's gone. No, we Adrian. Still need... Oh, Adrian. Oh, okay. So oh. all 14 drivers are here. I, 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 see, I see Wes is actually running a, um, a UK themed livery. <laughs> Look, um, I'm not, I'm not sure, but Adrian is running in front of you guys, eh? Oh, no, he is. No, no, Adrian Bond is. He's in sixth place right now. Oh yeah, he's sixth position. So yeah, he's running. running. Yeah. Oh, no, he's pulling on you, actually. You guys must uh, pull up your socks here. It's fine. Oh, no, he's all over the place. No, no, he's fine. He, he, he just hit the. Um... Yeah, look at. Oh, oh shucks. <laughs> you didn't let Kale hit him, yeah. Chaos. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> seems like a common occurrence, yeah. Ooh. Stay wide, Enion. Stay wide, Enion. Oh, Chop is having a lack of battle there with another Porsche. And there's a little RDTT. Yes, but the, the liveries look awesome, man. Thank you. Yeah, the Audi actually looks amazing. I'm, I'm quite happy with how they came out. I'm sorry, I think the Audi came out the best. Uh, you know, I'm an Alpha no. fan. Those I'm Alphas are... Alpha. So, okay, okay, I didn't actually Alpha see the Alphas, or... but I'm very happy with the Audi. So, chat, what do we write? Do we think that the Alphas look... I mean, the, the Audis look better, or the... Uh, the Porsches? What, what do we no, think? I'm, I'm definitely voting Audi. Audi? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so too. Okay. 
Howdy for it and looks pillar. <laughs> yes, Sean, we are indeed to thank for the deliveries. Um, I mean, all the cars from Heat and Brox are running basically the same livery, so it's not too difficult to manage. But uh, yes, for each individual driver, there is an individual. Oh livery. shit, two minutes! Let us just set this up properly and set our host. Oh, hello! Okay, everyone, Hi, please Hannes. do enter. Is Hannes in here? Well, okay, I think both are pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Yeah, that's, he that's is in. He is in. He just okay. hasn't entered yet. Um, okay, I have got the the list here of. We're qualifiers. just waiting for Cryptic to yeah. join, and I think we're going to be everyone. No, there's one guy missing. We've got one guy short in this race at the moment. Okay, we check. Mash, Mash is here. OJ is here. Um. There's one guy missing. Uh, they're starting from the back in alphabetical order. So wait, who is extra? Hannes and? You're extra, I'm starting you from the back. <laughs> okay. Hannes is subbing, I know Hannes is subbing for Yeah, Hannes uh, is subbing. But we still require sure. one driver and I'm not sure who it is. I'm trying to see quick. Sorry, I just had to sort out the, the list here. How's Clay, it going? Good to see you here as well. Clay, and and Joe Joe thank you gone. for joining us this evening. Appreciate the support. We're just busy Quite sorting out the grid order here for full C, and then the race should get underway. Oh, um, Joe is still up with me. No, he's yeah. left on my screen. No, he's still here. And then Captain Ron. We're missing Captain Ron. And then OJ. Behind our eye phantoms of the OJ, we have Kale. Followed by Mash. I see, I Sophie. see Kalen has, has got a teammate for tonight, so that's. That's always good to hear. It's, it's quite frustrating when uh, people don't have teammates for an event. Yeah. Correct. Especially for Caleb, he's like an extremely good driver and yeah. he's not scoring all the points he could because he doesn't always have a teammate. Edging Bond, in on fire. And then these guys I will have to put in to alphabetical order. So Hannes, so, Maverick and Wes. Yeah, yeah. yeah look, um, we are missing, we're, we're short one driver, are we going to wait? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, According just, to just my ask... screen, OJ is not here. And OJ I is know. here, I think. OJ is here. Yeah, OJ is definitely here. Mm. But we've got three... Um... Okay, cool. Phantoms is now part of EKZ yes. That we've got awesome three there. Jag drivers, which is weird. I think we're missing a fourth, to be honest. Because Wes is substituting with Mash. Um. No, but Hannes is also with Mash. Okay, OJ just. Okay, let's ask him. Um, I just need to check subs. Check the sub box. Can you ask him who's your sub? Yeah, um, Hannes said, Admin, Pool C, if Mash can't make it tonight, I will sub for him. Weather being the dis weather being the deciding factor. So, Hannes should actually not be here. So, yeah. I should actually start Hannes at the back. Okay, cool. Unless they want to kick Wes. I'm gonna put Hannes at the back. I've just asked Mash anyway, so we'll see now what the outcome is. So far, our starting order is KLM Pace, followed by J00. Those two are definitely two forces to be reckoned with. Uh, Tim Kopchik, up there again. He's quite a quick guy, not consistent, um, but he's quick. He might be a guy to watch out for this evening. Phantoms, if he can start, and Kale. Always good to watch Kale race here. Yeah? 
<clears throat> just keep it on track there, Kale. <laughs> uh, Mash without his gravy might do well, and we're looking at Dion, a newbie who's doing well. So yeah, congrats, Dion. Just by the way. Thank you. Ned Choppy. Adrian Bond, the lagger of the century, closely followed by Enron <laughs> Fire. And then we have a bit of a dispute with Hannes right now. He's meant to be subbing for Mash. For Mash, but Mash Almost is here. And Wes is Mash's teammate for the evening. So yeah, we miss our entire team at the moment. So they're not pitching. So I guess Mash. I I guess Hannes can't drive. I'm going to let him drive, and then the points will be deducted. Okay, no problem. And then fire is... back. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Jay. <laughs> How's it, JJ? Good to see you here again. Hopefully this stream is more entertaining. We're just waiting oh, for Jay. OJ, and then uh, for the race will be started. So let's have a look at people messing around here. What is going on anyway on track? I was about to say let's go for a flying lap with uh, our boy Kalen Pace here, but uh, <laughs> he's not flying at all at this point in time. Go on board with uh, Kale here. Kale, would you mind giving us a bit of a lap guide? Okay, um, so Hannah shouldn't be here if Wes is Mash's teammate. Oh, and we lost Cryptic. How's this, Diginator? Thank you for joining us this evening. Right now we're following Kale around the track for a quick lap guide. Sticking out nice and wide, cutting in late in this corner, getting on the throttle nice and early. Trying to get it as straight as possible without hitting the grass, usually. But you know, different strokes for different folks. <clears throat> <laughs> Very fast right hander here. A lot of the cars just gear down and pin it through. These front wheel drive cars do seem no, to struggle by the bit there. Go ahead, Mr. Ken. sequence of corners are very difficult if you run wide. So hopefully our lads can keep it on track this evening. Causing for some good racing. Jack. Someone just just DC race, so just wait. A little bit of traffic for Kale, but nothing to be to be crying Just wait over. for mm. Just wait for time cryptic guy. Eh? This Kale's not every day that you can say you've been slowed down by Kale in pace himself. <laughs> Let's have a look at what this man is doing. Seems to be having a relaxed time here. There's an absolute fusted luck going on around here. <laughs> Where is he's a sub for Ron? So Ron is used to me. Ron point paradox. Mash. That is a... Okay, Hannes is left. Very good. Wes is Mash's yeah, teammate so, for so the Hannes, night. Hannes yeah, should so have Mash's been Mash's teammate is Wes for the evening. Hannes was meant to replace Mash if Mash got into problems. So are we going? Who is Jay we waiting? We... teammate? OJ and Cryptic. Bye. OJ and Time Cryptic, we're waiting for them. Okay, cool. Chat, who would we like to follow around for a lap here? Throw a random name out of these top 8 that you can see on screen. Follow phantoms around. That seems like a great idea. <laughs> Sad news in the pits, but uh, we're watching for a tire change here. Okay. We are still I waiting on tank cryptic and then the race will start. Settings. So let's hop on board with uh, my phantoms for a hot lap here. Yeah. 
turn two is actually quite a nice corner, breaking uphill. Not easy, I mean, it's, it is quite an easy corner to enter. Difficult on exit, you can go very wide. As perfectly demonstrated by Kale earlier. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> no pressure, girl. Yes, there are four Shawns. No, three Shawns in chat this evening. Was it four? I can't actually see. How many Shawns do we have in chat here this evening? This Lexus is going to be a stellar car this evening, not only in I Phantom's hands, but also in Kale and Pest. I'm not jealous, Sean. I think my name is perfect, okay? <laughs> oh my word, three Sean's. And they're all spot Shawun. <laughs> and Uncle Ken is here as well. Hello, Sylvia. <laughs> Are you listening to your own stream, dude? No, the the, the guys are commenting hello, Sylvia. <laughs> oh my god! Let us hop on board with OJ. Actually, I still need to put OJ on the timesheets here. Where did OJ qualify? Give me two seconds. No, we're not okay. racing. We're just um, we're spectating. No, we're just spectating. OJ qualified behind Captain Ron, who is not here. So that means he's been promoted. Okay, Enyon Fire is here now. He's entered. We're waiting for Time Cryptic. Okay, let us make sure of the results here for qualifying. So it should be pace. J double O and then we are missing Tan Cryptic, I Phantoms, and then followed by Captain Ron who is also missing this evening. But his substitute is here. I, th I believe it's Wes. Um I think all your names are spelled incorrectly. I think Sean is S H A W N, so all you Shawuns are wrong. <laughs> anyway, so it's OJ Kale Mash Chalk. Agent Bond and Enyon Fire, and then followed okay, by the substitutes. Coming. Okay, we just need to wait for Cryptic, he's on his way. He's typing in um, in Discord now, so I'm just checking Discord. So yes, we are just missing Tan Cryptic, and then we are good to go. If I'm not mistaken. Yes, it's just cryptic. Um, Hannes, I'm not sure if anyone needs a substitute this evening. I don't know if we're missing any teams or not. Um, there should be 14 drivers as far as I'm aware, but we only have 12 this evening, so it seems that we're missing a whole team. Yeah, uh, correct. Go have a look on the subs channel and see if you can find someone who needs a sub this evening. I've, I've never seen Sam Cryptic have an issue though, so this is quite strange. Yeah, I'm, I'm listening, I'm seeing on Discord, he's saying he's got net issues. Oh, he's okay, keeping cool. on disconnecting every 10 minutes, so he's gonna join now. I told him we we're waiting. Yeah, we, he um, has, an, oh, he's, in the, he's in the lobby now. Correct, let me just check. I feel a day scares the doctor away. Right you are. <laughs> we'll see he's only 16. Okay, cool, so that's 12 drivers, this is Max. We are almost ready to go, waiting on Tam to enter, then we can place him in the grid. Yeah. Uh, qualifying yeah. was done last night, so we won't see qualifying this evening. Hence the set by host grid order, and then we'll do a race start. The saddest thing I've seen today. And he has entered, let's just make sure of the... Okay, he's not in order. Let's just get him in order. He's meant to be. He qualified very well. He qualified in third. Well done to him, right behind JW. So, our good order for this evening is Pace, JW, Tank Cryptic, I Phantoms, OJ, Kale, Mash, 
Chalk, Adrian Bond, Enyon Fire, and then our two substitutes falling in at the back, Maverick and Wes. Why does it only say, okay, Enyon Fire, let me see so there we go. Kick, kick, kick. Yeah, let me just kick this uh, France and money here for your quicks. And I then... said starting, so go. There we go. Race is on. We will okay. have two good new starts, so two starts good in race. total. So good luck, gentlemen. Let's have a good race. Good luck, Heat and Peroxar, guys. Just keep it on, keep it on track, boys. Mr. OJ and Enyon, have a good race, even though you can't hear me. Just listen, don't don't say a word, guys. Just listen to us. We're not. We're just gonna talk over you. Yo, you can mute us if you wanna. Okay, man, to watch off of the line. It's probably I phantoms. Lights out and away we go for the brand's hatch team. Everyone is away, everyone is away, just go, Absolutely. get just everyone go. Is away. It's a perfect start. Our Phantom's already up into second from fourth place. Well done to him. Let's have a look, see if there's any trouble at the back here. We're on board with Everything Nash. So Looks like a clean race, he's being challenged. Oh my word, Wes has absolutely outbraked himself and gone very, very wide. Seems to be trapping the back of the pack now. Our boy Kale going through, nice and cleanly. Man that has gone wider is Adrian Bond. Yeah, we've and got a Adrian spinner. Bond we've got a spinner. Yes, hit the barrier. Yeah. That's an unlucky call for him. Let's see what's going on in the front of the pack here. Let's hop a bit forward. Seems to be quite a clean race. We have a bit of a challenge between OJ and I Phantoms. Very long sweeping corner here. Don't want to get this wrong on exit. Brilliant pass by OJ there. Uh, JW is on their asses as well. Yes, we are riding on board with him right now. What's happening on behind? It seems to be quite clean behind. <clears throat> I would, OJ I would, going defensive here. I would venture to say this was the cleanest start. It was a brilliant well, start. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent start. No one in reverse. You know, not meant to point any fingers here, but uh, sheep, we've had that in the past. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, the, the Mercs seem to have really, really got the, the launch going for them here. I think J00 is going to have a good uh, battle with these gents. Very, very soon. Oh my word, and OJ goes wide. OJ has absolutely spun. He's dropping down possibly to sixth place now. He keeps fifth. Bit of contact behind here from Chop Prince. Being kept kept on his heels here by Enyon Fire. He's charging through the pack yet again. Uh, we've got a Maverick struggling a bit. And we have Ways Off. Chop being pushed wide a little bit by his teammate there. That's okay. Friendly Fire. It's always fine. These gents are in for a good race. Let's hop forward now to OJ, who seems to be on the ass of match. He's gonna be looking for an overtake very soon. Oh, okay, a little bit wide there. Choppy on the inside. Oh, shit. Oh, there's chaos in front as anyone fire hits Nash. Sorry, OJ, not anyone fire, OJ. Stewart coming you coming live from next to the racetrack here. Uh, if I can <laughs> give the Audi boys some uh, advice here, just short shift a bit. Uh, you know, they can save a lot of fuel. Uh, <laughs> sheep out. I don't know if everyone heard that, but that was uh, the Heat and Fox uh, uh, team from the pit wall instructing the drivers <laughs> to take the pit chill there. He on, on the absolute charge, trying to get past Nash as quick as possible. Hoping for some gravy this evening, outbreaking himself a little bit, but that's fine. Giving the position back. Fair play, fair play. How's it looking in front there? J00 is still right, right behind our fans, who we probably recently got past. 
and they are four seconds behind our boy KLR in pace, who is absolutely flying away. Let's have a look again oh. at Chalk Prince. Also seems to be quite a battle at the back here with KL full way battle for ninth place. Boys followed by KL Maverick, then Adrian Vaughn, our lagger of Mash overshot, Mash overshot. Mash has overshot and still ghosted. Looks like he's been passed by two people. Chopper, Chopper just passed Maverick there. Inside. Yeah, Chopper also passed uh, Maverick there. Let's hop on board with Maverick here. So you Get an eye on him and his teammate Mash. I mean Wes, sorry. We have Kailing running away at three and a half seconds. <laughs> KLM does definitely belong in pool A. I think he's destined for it. Maybe pool B next four rounds. I think the Jag is a very good car here. I don't know about you gents. Um having a few comments here saying that the Jag is a bit loose but quite quick around here. Um, the Jag's agree. very slow. I think it's slow. Yeah, the Jag's got nice pool, man. Speaking of the Jag, Wiz is looking quite strong here. He's probably gonna want to stick with that Audi TT on the straight. Um, yeah, these two, these two Audi boys need to take a chill now. Yeah. The thing with this Audi is definitely tire wear. Those front tires, when they drop off, your lap times drop off incredibly. Looks like there is another battle here. In on fire, getting past Chalk Prince. Or easy. We can Keep it nice, on the steady boys. That's well done. In on what a move. Well done. Clean racing between the two decent boxer drivers. And Chalk Prince is fighting back. Fighting back very hard. Well done. This is awesome racing. Let's get an exterior view of this. And someone has spun. I missed that. It's a free place for these two gentlemen. Good tight racing here, let's hop on board with Chalk. He's actually picked up a penalty now. Tusk, Tusk. The Porsche is very quick, I do agree. And in the long run as well, I think it stays consistently quick. It's like that Alpha, it's just, it's a freaking mosquito that won't go away. Anyway, fire running a bit wide there. Chopin's is Jack. probably going to look at making the most of this. Diving down the inside, gets the move done nice and clean on the inside. Gets the better acceleration and he's passed. Well done, Chop. I must agree with the other Sean here, Sean. <laughs> I think the Jack is, is brilliant around here. Oh, it can't be more. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't know if this Porsche is going to be quick enough in a straight line compared to his RDTT. No, he's backing off, letting him through. Yeah. Undercut, maybe, yeah. The Egypt Proxa boys are keeping it nice and honest. Nice and clean. And he's just going to look at following him through here. But once that RDTT tire is dropped, he's going to be looking for the pass very quickly. Yes, if you look at the front tires, Already it's much more worn, eh? Let's have a look here. Wide. Definitely a lot more worn. Oh, and the chalk runs a bit wide there, letting in and fire too. I think the best thing for these boys to do now is just to tuck up behind one another and get a key racing behind them. Very, very good close racing, I do agree. Let's have a look at the back of the pack here again. It looks like these boys are still fighting it out here. Same cryptic, cryptic going around the outside of Wes. Let's hop on board with him now. Being sensible, going maybe for the undercut. Almost gets it done. Wes defending the yeah, went here. wide first corner, Mash came through, took fifth position. And same cryptic is back up into tenth place past Wes. Now, from Kale's point of view, Kale looking for the cheeky overtake on in on fire there, gets it done, well done. He also well has done, a straight down speed. Now looking at passing his own teammate here, Chalk Prince, who seems to be struggling but has got some decent pace behind him as well. 
Exactly, these boys are having a very tight race. How's it looking behind here? Let's have a look from Chopra and see and his enclosing teammate here, if he can make up any ground on him. How's it, Mulgary? Good to see you joining us this evening. Supporting your Heat and Fox uh, buddies. Anyone Fire seems to be catching Kale though. The turns might be tabled. Yeah, I, uh, the Porsche's front tires are looking much better than the Audi. But I must say, for these Audis, the boys are doing quite well with managing their tires. It is lap 7, so we're closing in on the, the pit window. Radio control over to Chopper and maybe try to undercut there. Maybe do it. Too early, too early. One lap too early. But that's my point. <laughs> no, no. Race control over. My and Kale's strategy was put lap 918 and then go through to the end. I'm gonna go for the undercut and go lap 8. 899 seems to be the pit strategy. Okay, yeah. we, we seem to agree. Over. And OJ running very wide there into the third last corner. OJ showing some very good pace there. Kalo, Kalo, don't. Let's have don't a look keep at our leading fire. Man. He's got fresh tires. Did he pass? Did he pass? Over. This seems to be some Scott just being a dick. Over. We've got our own <laughs> Lewis Hamilton. <laughs> <there. laughs> Got them breaking in them. Well Good done, Kale. Well done, Kale. One thirties. I hear that there is some commotion around Kale. Kale going on the inside of any on fire almost gets the move done. Correction, correction. Kale uh, leading part because these tires are fresher. <laughs> Thank you for the correction there, Mr. Anti Boss Man. <laughs> JJ has got um, a strategy for you, gents. Put lap 9, lap 18, and finish, finish lap 27. Thank you, Joe. Okay, Kel, don't go on the cut, don't go on the cut. Stick to your original plan. Start one, boys, yeah. start one. Come on. <laughs> let's, let's make an alternative plan here. Yeah? Oh, don't go in our lap, don't go. These three heats and boxer boys are really running in close proximity to one another. I think they'll be rearing each other on here to the end of the race. I know about you, but I think. We're How's the, the Porsche on fuel compared to the Audi TT? What are we thinking? It's basically the same, it's basically the same. Radio control over. Yes, sheep, you are being an absolute fool, my boy. I think the Audi TT is probably quicker in the beginning of the stint, and then uh, the Porsche will probably catch them later on due to tire wear. Box, 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 Kale! And we have Kale in... Do not box. put fuel, just go for tires. Don't put fuel. Just see if you can make the laps first. He'll be fine, he'll be fine. Enough. Enough fuel. My man, chic. In on fire, really wanting to get past Chopin, so I think he feels that he's being held up here. By the struggling for grip, understeery Audi TT. That's not understeer, that's the plan. <laughs> that's My fellow commentator, how's plan. the lead you is looking? How's, <laughs> how's the lead is looking? What's happening in front of the pack? You can't just screen Eaton Broxa here. Yeah? <laughs> of course you can. Kel Empress is leading by 4.2 seconds and his lap times are probably very good. I want to say mid 30s. Yes, mid 30s. Very good times, consistency. I think he's going to have a very easy race this evening if he keeps his pace up. J00 also looking very, very good. Seemed to have a bit of a struggle in the beginning, um, but his lap times are pretty good itself. Mash wide, mash wide. But he's, he's third oh. place. OJ catching 
OJ catching it, he was about 4 seconds, it's now 1.6. And Chop Vincent in your fire is on his ass. See how this plays out. Let us hop on. Oh, Mash running very, very wide there. Chop in the pits. Into the pits, do not take fuel, just tires. Don't take fuel, just tires. Looks like OJ is gonna go for the one stop, one stop strategy instead. Mash's tires are looking to be a bit more depleted than OJ. Than any on Push, push, either. push. Chop up, push, push, push. That Jag seems to really be struggling in these mid stages of the race. Let us jump back to Kale. See what's going on with the back of the pack here. This is doing rather well, maybe catching Maverick a little bit. Let's hop back up to our action here in the middle. Mash weaving all over the place, that might just get him penalized. Let's see how Indian Fire tackles this. He'll definitely have the upper hand here. Great exit compared to the F type. The F type is awesome in a straight line though, so this Porsche might just struggle. Oh, OJ is on his arse. And OJ is on his arse. Go into the battles. Brilliant exit fourth. there. Being blocked slightly by Mesh, but he might just get past here. That straight line speed of that F type is really keeping him behind though. Just jumped to the battle in third and fourth, same positions. Uh, OJ is running at the arse of uh, Phantom. Oh, and OJ looking at going around the outside. Outside of, of Phantoms. Of Phantoms, yeah. My, oh, he's been pushed oh. wide. Our Phantoms has pushed him wide. Let's see if we can get a good recovery here. Our Phantoms seems to not be waiting for him, so hopefully there will be some great action later on when he catches him again. Scorpy? Yes, take my gap from any and our cryptic split. It's 1.8 seconds. This Lexus is really Ready over 1.8 seconds between them. OJ has done very, very well on his tires here. His fuel is also much better, so his stop will be a bit shorter than our Phantoms. Then you're running next to Nash as well. And then by looking for the move, Nash being very, very defensive. He's got the yeah, run on him there. I think he's yeah. going to he's going to work behind him. And there we go, he forces the error, gets past nice and easily. Well done anyone fire. Let's hop back up to OJ. OJ, OJ passed our phantoms. OJ has passed our phantoms. Our phantoms struggling a lot here on tires. Yeah, he's tire look at his front tires, oh war. Two smithereens. I agree with you, uh, Sean. That snaking wasn't very friendly. And Tank Cryptic is now also on the arse of Mash. Let's see how this turns out here. <clears throat> it was a brilliant move, definitely. Absolutely awesome. Forcing the error, getting getting by nice and easily. Clean pass. Well done, Lenny. Just take note, uh, uh, look at the, the tire wear between Kalen Pace and um, I Phantoms, it's a huge difference. Eh? Right now we're you watching guys the just battle between an amazing Chuck, overtake. Prince. Chuck Prince slides it down on the inside of Tank Kipsik, he's looking up to coming back at him. Oh. It's a horrible exit though, and picks up the penalty. Running wide out of frustration, Chuck Prince wow. not Mesh hesitating to in. make a pass on Nash here. Mesh has been known to snake a bit in this race already, so let's see how it's fine. It's fine. Chop Prince gets past him here. Those boys are running very, very close in the back here. All three of them. What's the plan for the Porsche boys? They're probably gonna put this lap or next lap. We're watching now from Sam Cryptic's point of view how Chop Prince is trying to get past Mesh. Going down the inside, some contact, okay. and Mash is wide. Should I wait for him? He turned in. Should I wait? I don't know. I don't know if you should wait or not. Just keep going. Well, it's up to you. We'll see. The straight line speed of this RV is absolutely impeccable.
And Kale is also past Mash. Seems that Mash is really struggling now. His tire wear is also depleted incredibly. And Tank Cryptic on the outside of T1, awful place to be. But he gets it done. Well done to him. These boys are side by side. Good action here. Racing nice and cleanly. Some good space between the two of them. <laughs> These two boys are absolutely battling it out. This straight line speeder that I do is definitely going to overtake that uh, Toyota in the straight line. Though. Let's have a look at our front runners here. Our front runners, oh my word, his tires are just about to burst. OJ is looking very, very clean here. Galen Bay spitting, Galen Bay spitting. Galen Bay's in the pits. Does JW follow him? No, he doesn't. JW Maybe that's the wrong position there. Yeah. What is OJ going to do? He's also meant to maybe pick this up. And Tank Cryptic has left. Don't know if that is a DC or if he has. And OJ is putting now this lap. One stop for the Porsche boys. I Phantoms follows follow suit. Anyone fire should Hello. probably do the same. These Look at the are fuel saving there by busy. OJ. Oh. OJ murdered the field save. Inyon as well. Oh my soul. Half a tank of fuel left. Well, it's a pity to see the tank project go, but uh, that's how it's going this evening. JW leads with a 7.8 second or 7.7 .7 second lead over Calvin Pace. He is still yet to put though. He's doing a two-stop strategy. This might just pay off for him as long as his lap times, which are they're actually slower than Kale and Pace. Keen to see what does chat think? Are we do we think Pace, J O or OJ? Who is 30 seconds behind, bear in mind. Listen, uh, we've got a heat and prox up train from third to six. No, oh, heat and prox seems to be doing very well here as I Phantoms is attacking in your fire on the inside of his long sweeping right hand and he gets the move done nice and cleanly on the inside maybe in your fire backing out time. a little bit it looks like in your fire JW in the pits in your fire seems to have under fuel slightly he might need to feel safe I was going at the back here. Um, you want to go 17 instead of 18? You heard their strategy here first. Yeah, yeah that's that's a bit much. That's a bit much, girl. Let's draw this. Stick to 18. A lot of people. And split it even. As in, Hannes is saying that uh, <laughs> there are no printers were good at racing. These HP boys are peddling hard. Wait, sorry, which lap do you want to put? Okay, okay. I think I'm sticking to 18. May even push it to 19. It's fine, it's fine. Seems Just to keep be a bit of a battle here with our factions and Kale, see if the straight line speed of that, uh, actually no, going into the corner here, Kale turns in a bit hard, see how the exit is there, pushing in a little bit wide, Kale still manages that on track, now it's any on fire, hot on his heels. What's the gap to the Lexus? Behind you or in front of you? Oh, Kale getting some uh, some crazy overstay going into the corner there. Must be of that five to the rear brake fires. <laughs> How's it looking in front there? I think the boys are nicely spread out. Not much action happening in front there. We had a comment saying that KLM is most likely going to win this race. I don't know. Um, if JW can get his lap times up, I think he might just be able to do it, but he needs to push hard now. 
tail going very defensive. Almost blocking in on fire there. No team orders here this evening, gentlemen. No team orders. <laughs> in on fire looking at the inside here. He's gonna get the place done. Um, Kel, if Phantom catches up to me, I'm gonna put on lap 19 and give OJ more space. The straight line speed of this RDTT is just incredible. Cannot beat it. But the fresher tires of that Porsche being a rear wheel drive car, a lot more easier to manage over a longer period of time, gets it done. Indian Fire looks to be on the charge of I Phantoms, who, as we saw previously before the previous stop, struggled on tires. Let's see how he's doing on tires now. Indian Fire with practically fresh tires. Two laps old. Phantom's already showing some tire wear there. Very hard on his car. Definitely gonna struggle later. guys. No surprise to us though. The Audi TC has a bit of tire wear on the front. I don't know why that could be. And, and I want shop front runs a bit wide here. Let's see if he loses a place. One place, yep. almost two places Losing now. Two. He has lost two places. He might be looking to put this lap. His penalty? Tires what aren't the fuck? Looking too bad that he's struggling with penalties even. <laughs> Keep it on track, dude. Stop extending. Okay, well, I can't help OJ anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Not from this position. Sheep, how are we looking there? Who are we We're watching? looking all good. I'm looking at everyone. Um... That's gonna get you a fine, eh? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, it's fine. The two, uh, I think the two Audi boys are gonna have a battle. Battle it out for seven and six. Enion Fire is on a Phantom, so that's going to be a nice battle coming soon. Oh, and OJ really seems to be catching Phantoms. Phantoms we know is struggling with on tire wear, but that yeah. Lexus is very quick. If you can manage it a bit better, then I think Enion Fire might just take this away from. Uh, I've got I mean, a feeling I think that's going to happen. Phantoms yeah. might just take it from Enion Fire. I don't know. This. Long run, I think Enyon is going to take it, but Phantoms so. for now, keeping it. Um, if you look what at just, think on this? just look at the comparison between uh, Kalen Pace and Phantom style, where Phantoms is a lot harder on his tires. And so there we have it. Kalen Pace is already lapping someone here. Have a look who is this. He's already about to lap Wales, it seems. Running a bit wide though, but still keeping consistent load that he's doing very, very well. If we look at Kaolin Pace's tire wear on the bottom left of our screen there, we'll see that he's barely a sliver of red. And I Phantoms is really struggling to keep his tires up. Oh, Maybe that's the major difference. Yeah, definitely. Is. I think that's the difference that makes the you know the biggest impact is tire wear around here. Correct. But yeah, as you said, the non fire is actually rearing it up. Kale is going for the undercut on his teammate here. Um, he's already pitted, uh, and Chopa is going in now. So let's see how this pans out. It's going to be very tight. Chopa in the pits. In the wall. And in the wall. Yeah. Let's see I'm watching Kale. I'm watching yeah, Kale. He's coming down the back straight, entering the final corner almost. And on fire, really, really up the arse of our phantoms. He'll probably get the move down. Chopa leaving the pits. Ah, oh, there's quite a gap. Let's see yeah, how this pans out. Let's see how yeah. the, the battle between In on fire and our phantoms pursues. You know, our phantoms can defend very well, but In on fire doesn't take. Any nonsense from the man. He's on fire! <laughs> Some onion fire. <laughs> that onion is on fire. 
Ayo. Ayo. Uh, I feel a bit sorry. Onion, yo. I must say, uh, OJ is having a very lonely race up in third. Definitely but he's, he's doing quite well. 15 second gap in front and almost 10 seconds behind. Whereas I Phantoms, he's gonna really struggle now. Yeah, his tires are showing a lot of wear. 11 minutes to go, his, his tires are really bored. Yeah, he's really strong. If you look at the car sliding while he's turning, it's yeah. he's overdriving the car a bit there. We agree, JJ. Uh, JJ says Kale and Pace was my season one teammate. Good tire work. Most definitely, the man is absolutely brilliant on tires. Seems that Enyon is running a bit wide. I mean, I Phantom's running a bit wide there, leaving the door open slightly for Enyon. I don't think Enyon will take the. Take the gap though, he seems to be saving a bit of fuel. I don't know about you. It just looks that way. He's just definitely got fuel issues. Tire. He's definitely got fuel issues if you look at uh, the I'm Lexus running into fuel. The back of what there. Yeah, I think he's got plenty more fuel. Everyone else has got more fuel than him as well, so I think anyone fire might have gone for a bit less fuel at the pit stop, maybe you pushed the button by accident, but uh... Oh. Hopefully the lighter card does pay off in the end though, but we'll see. He seems to be managing yeah. it quite well. Yeah, he's got the least amount of fuel of all the drivers on track at the moment. Let's have a Followed look at our, uh, the rest of the boys in the back here. Kale is in seeing distance of Adrian Bond. It's Five be seconds is the gap now. Are you going to make the fuel? Yeah, definitely. I, I think know I'm going to make it. I think Enyon will make it probably, but I think he's got a good Mash tactic to stay behind. Mash and Maverick having a very good battle at the back of the pack, yeah. Right, no, but I, I did a race two days ago. I actually overfueled by putting for nine, so... And Phantoms runs very wide into the exit of T1. Enyon Fire not taking it. Might just That's get that, that Lexus is struggling for uh, traction there. Definitely struggling. Snaking a lot. I think that the Porsche is just using it for the slipstream at this point in time. Running quite wide there, lucky not to spin. I think teammate, we need to, we need to if we if we go manuals again, we need to try the Porsches a bit, eh? I agree. The, the Porsche seems like a very good option. Or the out the the Alpha. <laughs> no, no the say. Alpha is. The Alpha is, is a given, we know this. It's the second time we've used it, so we can maybe use it for a third time. But let's see, we'll to um, see what, what the uh, plan is for next year. Yeah. yeah. Just, a, just a quick question on next season. Um, what do you guys think about uh, FI type of racing where we implement the usage of at least two tire compounds? What's your view on I, this, guys? I would, think, I, I would, I would like that. Personally. I love that. I, I really love that idea because it enforces you to go further into strategy. And Indian Fire is diving down the inside of my Phantoms here. Yes, and... Uh... To get back to my point, yes. Indian Fire is now past our Phantoms. Let's see if he can keep it in front of what him. What a pass there a by the pass. HP. He's only got a, a, a quarter tank left. Hopefully he can make the end. But seven minutes left, he should be able to. Let's we'll see how this pans out. Maybe Let's have a look at our leader again. How are his lap times looking? Still low 30s. He's doing absolutely brilliant here. If you look at OJ and Enyon's fuel, it's the same, so I guess they've practiced quite a lot. And I think they've got this under control. A uh, logistical nightmare saying Alpha was uh, was dominant. Great choice that on that, James. Thank you. Um, I think we did make the, the good call there, and so did JJ and the Intrepid Striker. They also ran Alpha. Uh, let's have a look at these two Audi teammates here. The gap is 11 and a half seconds. How are the lap times? Chopin seems to be quite a bit quicker than Kale at this stage of the race. It's the 
wheel, boys. It's the wheel. It's the wheel. But don't underestimate the tire way. Um, I know, I know. Kale's got a bit more tire life left than Chop. And if I remember yeah, correctly... remember, he's on the undercut. Yeah, and if I remember correctly, he's done more laps. So definitely managing his tires a bit better. This should call for a, a late game battle. Look at Phantom's tires, boys. He's gonna have to put maybe. Chopper! Oh, yeah, okay, will just keep it on really track. Struggling. Just keep it on track. He's struggling with tires, boys. Okay. Just put the pressure. That's all you need to do. Well, this Lexus really seems to be struggling. Lots of understeer going into a corner. Lots of understeer exiting one as well. This front tires on not have seen have definitely seen better days. Next season will be like Oprah. You get an offer, you get an offer. Everyone gets an offer. Yes, JJ. <laughs> that will probably That's be true. the plan. I'm I sure. Oh no. Our Phantoms runs a bit wider there, man. Just keep it on track. Okay, but without the teammate the Stick man, uh, I want to be a bit ballsy next season. I've got a few choices that's gonna make your hair raise. It depends on what the details for next season is gonna be, but I want I would like Porsche, Alpha, Ferrari. I want to drive my Ferrari. As long as we don't have that BMW again, I'm happy. <laughs> no problem. But I think we go a bit ballsy next season. Okay. Alpha, Porsche, Ferrari. I like that decision already. What's our fourth yes. car, if any? Um, that's a good question. Let's go for something um, we've, we've driven already. Maybe Hyundai, eh? Hyundai. What about the Hyundai? Yes, why don't we reunite with them? I know, I'm kind of sick of front tire wear after driving that TT for a season. Oh, that's also true. We can scrap that idea then. <laughs> Speaking uh, of which, uh, Kale seems to have made a bit of a mistake. He was making good grounds on short turns here. Chopper had made, three, made up three seconds on Phantoms already. I think time is of the essence here, but just keep the pressure. He's really, really battling. Let's go on an onboard lap with Chop Prince. Chop Prince, guide us through a lap here from here to the finish line. How's the car feeling? Um, the car's feeling a bit heavy, but otherwise very good. A bit wide through there, on the field too quick, but the car's not feeling bad. Understeer's not killing me yet. Just need to keep it clean so I can. Not killing me yet, so you're expecting your tires to just get worse and worse? Nope. As long as I can keep it clean, I should be fine. I need to short shift a bit more than I currently am through certain corners, but otherwise, not looking bad. Well, I must say, Kale's got a bit more fuel than you as well, so. I know. How's the car gonna? How's the car feeling through those sequence of long right handers? Um, the long right handers are a bit slow, more slower than I'd like, but not too bad. No, that's good to hear. You seem to be catching eye phantoms quite quickly now. And we have a comment from the Disco Nightmare saying. What about teams pick two manufacturers and we give you two manufacturers? I like that idea. That really does That's a very works. good idea. What do you just That's think That's not about a bad that? idea, Sean. I like the ideas coming open, around. <laughs> oh. As long as it's not the Subaru, please. Or the Mitsubishi. Yeah, me and Kayla have Subaru next. Yeah. As long as all, I mean, at least your wet race will be quick. I have the four-wheel drive mm. advantage there. Eh? We'll see. The pack really Ooh, seems Phantoms to have is actually quick getting out. some time on me now. Kill him catching up with Maverick now. About to lap him. We're gonna have three drivers doing 27 laps, I think. Very Maybe close more. for OJ. Yeah, OJ should do 23, 27. It's gonna be very tight for him. The rest will only do 26 laps. Sean, as in Mr. Bossman Sean, not the other two Seans. <laughs> Mr. Bossman says he'll yeah, Buck Sean. He says he'll take the Alpha over the Porsche. I agree with you. 
I think I agree endurance, with him as well. In Joe's point of view, um, the group fours most definitely alpha. Whereas the group three, I don't know, it's between the Porsche and Alpha. But uh, as a whole, I prefer the Alpha over Porsche. Alphas, yeah, I agree totally. The Although the GR3 close. Porsche, yeah, the GR3 Porsche is a very nice car to drive, but very easy. Alpha is also easy, but I think I li like the Alpha a bit more. Yes. How's it looking here with Enyan Fire and I Phantoms? I Phantoms. So Scorpio, I didn't under. Absolutely struggling here. Yeah. I see, oh, 26 steps. Well done, Chopin. So just rounding out the positions here, KLM Pace went over the line, 27th lap. JW is over the line, 27th lap. And uh, I don't know if Enyon Fire is going to make it or not, with 13 seconds no, remaining into the... No, Enyon won't make it, but OJ is 9 seconds away. 8, 7, 6, 5, so 4, four, three. And Two, he makes 27 one. Laps. He makes it just, yeah, just he just, just makes it. Ooh, well that done. was close. That very, was very close. close. So our first competitor to cross the line on his final lap is Enyon Fire. Amazing well race done, from Enyon. the and Prox of Way there. Followed relatively closely by High Phantoms and uh, MASH, I believe that is. We'll have a look at the rear runners now. High Phantoms crossing a line, lots of tire wear. Chop Prince, Keeping amazingly, absolutely amazingly, on his, I believe, what, second race on a wheel, finishes in yes. sixth place. Absolutely mm -hmm. awesome race. Okay. Yes, oh, what's wow. up, Kendall? Welcome and back to Uncle the chat. Ken is here too. Hello, Mr. Ken. Commentator, so. Oh, Hell amazing. Okay, the line. Just... Yes. Closely followed by Adrian okay. Bond, so... who was looking quite strong at the end of the race there, I must say. Oh my god, thank god, god I'm running this front wheel drive Audi. 10 seconds between Maverick and Mash, and how's it looking in the front here? OJ, 15 seconds behind. Cal Impace wins. Round 12, Pussy. Okay, fortunate on the position. Well done, Kalen. JW pulls in a second place. Congrats to the Toyota driver, and OJ pulling in another podium for Heat and Proxer. Congrats, boys. Congrats. Well done. So, Heat and Proxer, 4th, 5th. Third and fourth and uh, six and seventh tonight. Well done, boys. Well brilliant, done. Brilliant, brilliant scoring from the Houston Boxer boys there. Yeah. Let's see what the final standings are. KLM, Pace, J00, OJ, Enyon Fire, I Phantoms, Choplins, No, KO. he's his team. Um, well he's done, boys. Um, but his team made DC, so he probably get DC points. Let's see who got the fastest lap there. So let's have a look at the race results. And JW got a brilliant lap of 29.706 on lap 21. So the man was absolutely pushing. Well done to these gentlemen. It was a very good race. Thank you for watching the stream. And uh, yeah.